This is Gadget Man 404 and today I'm doing the review on what you can see in front of you which is the movie or the Movi, I call it the Movi chest harness or body harness. Um, reason why I purchased one of these is when I went on a holiday, literally only, it, sounds, it feels like a lifetime away but it's only just over a week ago, I was in another country, 32 degree climate etc. I wanted to be swimming with a fish. Uh, videos online, check out my channel and basically um, I use this so I could be swimming with the fish, feeding the fish and all that type of thing and just general things like I was playing tennis, ping pong and all that type of thing and obviously you can't hold a camera in one hand and it's just a lot easier if you're wearing it. And just capturing moments of my holiday with my family, which I don't get much time off throughout the year because I work all weekends. So when it's a holiday, you make that extra effort to be with the family every day and doing stuff that you don't normally do in the week because you're at work. And I wanted one of these uh, chess mounts so I could do that. Uh, originally I was going to buy the GoPro, I believe X-Shot do these type of things as well. X-Shot's are very expensive as is the GoPro. But as you can see with this, it's got the angle. So you wear it like so and then you undo that little screw and you can tilt it down, tilt it back. And that little plastic or little rubber grommet stops those, if I just try and push, stops those from being forced in and that means it cannot slide out. So no matter what you're doing, running, climbing a mountain, go-karting, fishing, whatever you're doing, you can't lose your camera. Okay, that's really, really good that you, you know, that basically they make it with this, a standard, so the camera can't come out. Now, as I say, I was looking at the GoPro one, and to get the right angle of swimming with the fish, I would have had to have bought another load of adaptions because they didn't have the slide in one. They just had one that sort of like that sort of pivot there it was fitted straight to that. And then you have to buy all these other pivots and angles and all that. So I couldn't have used it out of the packet or out of the box. Whereas this one, I used it straight from day one. Basically, it was in a plastic bag with cardboard stapled across the top. The guy let me take it out of the bag in the shop and try it to make sure it worked. It would do what I wanted it to do. It did. This cost $24.99 from PC World Comet at the uh, airport. Um, I believe it will be the same everywhere. Um, the GoPro ones are a lot more expensive, as are the X Shot. You know, there you're looking at fifty pounds for X Shot and probably forty odd pounds for a GoPro. But the GoPro wouldn't have worked. I would have had to have bought another load of adaptions, which I only needed one to do what I wanted to do. With this one, you also get another mount, which is actually for their camera, Movi do an action camera or movie, however you want to pronounce it. So. It's like a cup with an ang with a, um, just the tripod and then there's like a cup shape and then the camera clicks in and it's got a little bit missing where the lens goes and the camera clicks in but obviously I don't need that, I just needed this. Um, all straps are adjustable and it's just literally pinch and pull off. So very easy to use you can do it one-handed if you have to a uh, push you know you you sort of put it around i put it around my chest first and then like braces chuck it over my shoulders and attach them as you need to and that's what it looks like from the back it's got the strap there and it's like a dungaree so it goes into like a v uh, adjustable um, which side is it sorry adjustable from here and basically, it's a really well-made 
sturdy piece of kit. It's really, really strong. This is also flexible. So if you want to have it really tight on your chest, look, I'm really bending that. Look at, look at the flex. It's really thick plastic. Look at that flex. It ain't going to break. You know, these are double stitched or triple stitched. They're not going to come undone. You're not going to lose your camera. They're not going to break. Really thick, good molded plastic. You know, really, really strong. Excellent piece of kit. Um, another reason I bought this was so when I do my flying, I can have this mounted on my chest at close quarters. And uh, instead of having it on my head and I'm and I'm shaking my head following the quad, all I've got to do is just turn my body. It might be a bit smoother. Um, two um, apps that I use for editing my videos, if you guys are interested. Uh, the last few videos I've been using this chest mount all the time. Um, the night rider, daily commute to work, etc. I just wanted to try it out. I didn't, you know, I only did it the other day. I've had it about three weeks now, but I only thought, oh, let's try this and see how it works. And the videos have come out amazing. Now, a new app that I found. It is called Action Director, made by Cyberlink. It's the same company that make my usual editing software, which is Power Director. Now, what sometimes I have to do is I have to do some things with one app and then finish it off with another app, which is why you're getting the overlay. If you can sometimes see in the bottom right corner, power adapter and action director, they sort of overlap each other. I don't know how you get rid of that. Maybe there is a way, but I don't edit my videos on a computer. I use my LG G4 to do everything, voiceovers, music, intros, outros, trimming, editing, time lapse, do everything on my phone and I just prefer it that way. I just think because I'm not so professional as all these Alex people and Casey and and all that lot but I love this piece of kit. It leaves your hands free. You could also use it to show people your stick movements so you can have a head cam showing the flight you could have this showing you know on your controller when you're pitching and rolling and you're and all that type of thing learning people how to do this and how to do that it's a great piece of kit you can use it for multiple sports you can use it for fishing you can use it for go-karting driving anything Anything that you need your hands free for, mountaineering, you name it, paragliding, whatever, this would be amazing. Um, this camera is the Kit Vision Edge HD10. It does come with a rear screen, and that's how you can play the videos or look at the photos back. You can also change the settings. At present, I'm filming in 1080p 30. When I use this Action Director app, it gives you the option to change to 60 frames a second, which I have done, and I definitely think there's more depth and there's just a bit more movement in the videos. It just seems a bit more dimensional. It's not so a lot, it's not so like a flat image. When you're going around trees, you, you see in the shapes, and I mean, I don't know. That's just how I see it. It's a free app. Try it out. It is really good. And I think you guys will like it. Uh, as I say, this little thing here is to stop it from coming out. But take it out, squeeze it in, and it just slides out. Then you can turn it round, push it back in, Put the clip back in so now you can't squeeze those together and that means it won't come out it's a real inexpensive great piece of kit I think more people might start using these things for I'm gonna start doing for some of my flight videos I'm gonna just see how that works out just see 
how much I'm getting in shots because I'll have to keep looking down at my chest and slightly tip the camera forward and you know it might work it might not for the flight side of it but for doing reviews then I can wear this and wear my camera and then my hands are free and then I I can do it that way so I think it will work out a lot better uh, I hope you guys like this video please leave me a comment on what you've seen me do if if you're if you like what I'm doing because I did go through a period where I was not getting many views and then I was getting a bit well what am I doing this for you know I spend hours re editing and doing this I don't get much time off work because I work at the weekends and uh, you know doing a video is it, it takes half an hour to video and then you have to edit it I put music on it and voiceovers. Everything is done with my LG G4 phone. I don't use my computer. The only thing I use my computer for is on YouTube. I use their editing software to say thanks for watching and please continue to subscribe at the end and add my cards because I don't think you can add cards on YouTube on your phone. But that's all I use my laptop for. Everything else I use my phone for and it's a great phone. But... The review isn't about my phone, it's about this piece of kit. And look, I'm giving it real, I'm giving it a lot of flex. And that ain't going to break, look. That's like 5 mil thick, sort of rubberized plastic. It's really, really strong. And it's like double to triple stitched. These are good quality uh, plastic mouldings. You know, it's for the price, it is... I think it's worth every penny. You can pay double that money and probably not be as satisfied with the product as what I am with this. So, yeah, I just want to say thank you for your continued support. Uh, a lot of my subscribers do contact me and I do get in touch with all of people that leave me messages. If for any reason you want to leave me a comment, you didn't like this, you didn't like that, Please, please, please comment why you don't like something. If I keep making a video and I'm doing what you don't like, you'll unsubscribe to me and I might be alienating my viewers doing something that you don't like. But if you don't tell me, I don't know. So please do give me a comment. I don't mind negative comments or negative I don't like the dislikes, but they don't leave a comment of why they don't like it. That's what sort of I don't understand. If you like it, great. And if you don't like it, please leave me a message. You talk too much. You're boring. I don't like your voice. Or whatever. I can't help how I talk. You know, I've heard some people comment on other people's videos saying they don't, they don't like his accent or whatever. But that's how we are. We have, an, we have a dialogue because where we live and we can't change how we talk. But if you're not happy with the content I'm making or, or, or whatever you're not happy with, please leave me a comment and then I can try and change it so you will like the videos in future because I want people to like my videos. I put a lot of effort and time into making them and I want people to like them as much as I like making them. So this has been the review of the Movi or the Movi chest harness for cameras. You could put a selfie holder in there and have your phone. It's not just for cameras. You can use a phone as well because I've tried it. It works. This is a standard uh, tripod mount. A selfie holder is a standard fitting because I've done it before so try it um, as I say I think it's great and for the money you can it leaves your hands free when you're doing your sports or whatever and I do think it's a great piece of kit um, thank you for your continued support I've got nearly 200 subscribers which doesn't sound a lot but when I started this channel I didn't think I was going to get you know 10 or 20 and I've got nearly 200 now and I'm hitting nearly a thousand views on YouTube and 
uh, no, 10, no, 100,000 views on YouTube and about the same on Google+. Plus. So people must like my videos, you know, because that's a lot of people to watch something they don't like. It doesn't make sense, so they must like it. Um, yeah, just want to say thanks to everyone. I uh, hope you like this video. As my little boy would say, a thumbs up. I'm trying to get in shot. A thumbs up if you like it. And a thumbs down if you don't. And I hope it's always going to be a thumbs up. So, yeah. Enjoy. Thanks again. Gadgetman404. Out.